dihedral synchrohelical hinges. That's what Koenigsegg calls the hinges that make their doors open so iconically. I'm going to show you how to make one out of cardboard, but first let's try to understand how it works. So let's look at this as a parallelogram with pivoted corners which allow it to move around while maintaining the distances between adjacent pivots. So this will push the door outwards and keep it parallel to the car. But how does it spin upwards? Well, when the parallelogram moves, notice how there's an angular displacement at the corners. That is, a torque is generated. This input gear will utilize that torque and transfer it onto this output gear, which will turn the door on a vertical plane. So let's get started. So first let's cut our two arms shaped like this. The holes are 60 millimeters apart and we're going to glue them together with some space in between. The space has to be more than enough for the gear to fit in. You'll need two gears of ratio 3 to 2, meaning that this one is one and a half times bigger than this one. I made these gears myself, it's just a circle with a hole in the middle and the teeth are made out of small pieces of cardboard which I bent and then just glued into place. Okay, glue the larger gear onto the arm. Make sure the holes are aligned, then we're going to trim it down because quite frankly, we now need the whole gear. Now we need to make something small that's going to hold a smaller gear and a way to do that I found is to cut out two very tiny squares with holes in the middle and then gluing them together with a square frame in between. Again, make sure the holes are aligned by passing an axle through the holes and adjusting it before the glue sets. Now we can trim the axle. And because it's made of plastic, we can place the edges next to a flame and that'll seal it all in. Now we need to cut out four more pieces like this. The holes on each of them are 15 millimeters apart and two of them have a protruding end. That's important. It's a bit of an excess but we'll figure out how much to trim later. So you temporarily assemble it like this and what you need to figure out is how far down the protrusion you need to glue this smaller gear so that these two gears can mesh nicely. So we can confidently glue the gear in between the protrusions and now we can reassemble the whole thing. Align the holes and another plastic rod will pass straight through. Before moving forward, I've added little support in between these arms to help keep them parallel and this little ring here is pressing the jig upwards to position the gears for a good mesh. And it's surprisingly smooth for a structure made out of cardboard. So creating this corner with all the gears was the trickiest part. From here on, it's fairly straightforward. So we'll attach these remaining two pieces on the other side like this and then we'll make one more arm that's bent like this and you're probably wondering, doesn't that affect the parallelogram? Well, no, not in its functionality because the holes still are 60 millimeters apart and it being bent allows it to work around an obstacle which it would have otherwise encountered if it were straight. After a few finishing touches, we're done. The door will mount onto this gear over here and the whole hinge will mount onto the car on this side. And the hydraulic or spring or whatever it is that actuates it will push against the arm over here. And as you can see, it works. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Feel free to leave me some comments below. If you want to see other cool stuff that I made out of cardboard like the 67 Camaro, click the icons on the screen or look for a link in the description. I'll see you guys next time.